Oh, where, oh, where have my media gone? Oh, where, oh, where can it be? Hey, Pinnacle Studio peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. If you ever went to your navigation bar or your watch folders and noticed that you had missing media, I'm going to hook you up and help you get things back in order. So I'm going to show you how to do this and get everything relinked in Pinnacle Studio. So let's jump off into Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate and make it happen. Have you ever opened a saved project and a file was missing or one of the files you wanted to use had a big ugly red exclamation point on it well what might have happened is that pinnacle lost the link to that media actually pinnacle is using the red exclamation point to try to help you out pinnacle is telling you hey buddy remember that file that you had in a watch folder location well you either moved it renamed it or you deleted it heck it might even be a file that was imported from an external device that's no longer connected like a camera or an external hard drive. So, since Pinnacle has provided you with this warning, if you want to use the file, you need to relink it. There are two ways to find your missing media. You may stumble upon it by going to a specific watch folder location, or you can look for the missing media section which is listed under the library media. You have any missing media, you might find it all here. Now, once you find any missing media, relinking the files is super simple. So the first way that you can relink a file is by double clicking the file that has the red exclamation point on it. So double left click, It'll ask you if you want to relink the missing media. I'm going to select no right now. The other way is by right clicking on the media that has the red exclamation point. And then you have a few options. So let's say the media is something that you deleted and you deleted it on purpose. And you just want to clear it from your watch folders. Then you can select delete selected. And it'll ask you if you want to remove from the library only or if you want to remove and delete the actual file. Since it's not linked to the file, of course, you can't delete the actual file, but you can remove it from the library so the thumbnail will go away. Now, we don't want to do that option today, but you might find a bunch of missing files and you might want to use that option. So I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to select relink media. When we do that, a window opens up that shows the available locations on our computer. So if we wanted to get it back from a camera or an external hard drive, we would need to connect that before we do this so that we can have that location available to us again. You might even connect it after you do this and it might show up still. I don't know. I haven't tried that before. And then if it's not an external drive or camera, then you could just find a location that you moved it to. So I'm going to go here because I know that I moved it to a specific location on purpose. And here's a file. So I'm going to click on open. And now it's no longer missing. And what it actually did as well is it created that new location. And now I have the file in that location where I actually had the file moved to. So it creates that new location in my watch folders so that I don't have to go through all that trouble. Maybe I moved it there on purpose and that's where I want it now. So now I have that new location and the file is connected again. And if I had any projects that use that file, then it would have went ahead and added that file back to that project. Easy peasy lemon squeezy relinking media files. It's so simple. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, if you like the content in this video, make sure that you click on the thumb. The one that's pointed in the 
upward direction. Also, got any comments, questions, tutorial requests, or you just want to chop it up with your boy, talk a little bit, leave that stuff in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash the subscribe button. When you smash the subscribe button, you receive notifications from YouTube every time I upload content, and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.